Hey guys, this is Adron Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. In today's video, I'm going to show you a few fun teams that I have been testing for the tournament that we have going on right now for this one that spider turn attack by using only dark elves champions okay so i have been doing a little bit of this i've been doing some testing but i've not finished it yet however i think i'm gonna be going all the way because well the spider is one of those dungeons that is one of the easiest ones to farm if you have the right champions and honestly having the What's it called? Having the fire, the dark elves as the faction makes it pretty easy. I have a few screenshots of what I've done, but actually, you know what? Let me just show you the teams exactly. But I will have to swap one of the. Let me see. Is it this one? Yeah. I just have to swap one of these uh, boots to try and, and get it back to the other one because they have some different builds. So let me see. Maybe something like attack percent, I guess, or whatever. Anything that's not speed, I guess. Let me go with speed at the top. And let's go with, let's see, come on, give me a speed one, a non-speed one. Okay, this one should be fine. So I've been trying testing to see how I can do hard stage, and that's why the change over here. But the easiest ones to do is obviously going to be doing spider uh, 20 hard. Okay, so if we go, so, sorry, 20 normal. So there are options. You can do this one, okay? Just straight up basic. <laughs> basic ghostborn and four cohorts like it cannot get any easier than this okay let me move myself here so you just go with the decrease defense and then you just go with four heart seekers and it should be an easy clap because if you have like four cold hearts honestly for this one specifically you don't need all of them to have accuracy okay you just need like a one or two just in case but honestly i don't think so because at the end of the day the spider just dies like if with four heart seeker this one's just an easy clap and it goes pretty well obviously it helps having ghost board in here and this one is a team that is a hundred percent reliable as long as you have enough damage on your cold hearts okay the reason why i'm saying that is because Ghostborn has on his A3 unresistible decrease defense. So you cannot get 3%ed. You don't even need accuracy in order for him to land the decrease defense. And then the Cold Hearts just go and do damage. And even if you get resisted on the third meter, you're gonna have enough damage from four Cold Hearts to just take it down. Now there's another option that you can use with you uh, having somebody like a Lydia, but with Lydia, it's not going to be 100% because she can get resisted either on the decrease defense or on the weekend when she does this. Okay, this one's fine. I'm not even gonna need all four of the cold hearts. Three should be enough, I think, almost. Well, sometimes it works with just three if you build them strong enough, but let's run it again so you can see what I mean. It's, you know, it's pretty straightforward. As long as you have four cold hearts built, this one should be easy. I mean, you I think you could even go with this with just two as long as they're built strong enough. But, you know, I had four, I built them. I don't even have masteries on two of them. If we have a quick look. Uh, these last, let me see. So yeah, on two of them, I don't even have masteries, okay? I do have them booked, even though you don't really need to have them booked because you only need to do the heart seeker once. It's gonna help a bit with your damage, but it's not mandatory to have them booked. It's not mandatory to have blessings on them. You just need to have enough damage. But you see, I'm gonna have two that have those masteries. So if you look at the presets, they're pretty straightforward. Decrease defense, from Lydia or Ghostport in this position, and then Heartseeker, 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 Heartseeker. You basically need your Cold Hearts to be over 150 speed, so the Spiderlings don't get a turn, and it should be, you know, this should be job done. But then, I've been playing around with a different one, and this one is actually working for stage 10 heart, okay? I did not think it's gonna be uh, possible, but it actually works, it's not, you know, it's not as fast as the other one. However, when it comes to the points, you're gonna see that it's actually, you know, pretty pretty similar. I, if not, actually, it's a lot better points because of the fact that, you know, the higher the stage, the more damage you're going to do. Okay, I actually forgot to change this, but I think it still works even like this. Heart Seeker, this is not gonna help. I forgot to change the boot. That's my mistake. But you know what? Let's run this all the way and see if it actually works. The whole principle from this team is actually taking advantage of Lydia's decrease defense and weaken, and then taking advantage of the hex that actually provides us with a little bit more damage, okay? Because because you see all those numbers that proc up? Well, that's because of the hex, okay? So that's what makes it so much, uh, you know, so fun. I think it's still gonna work. It's just the spider's gonna get another turn, hit us. And then we just need to do a little bit, you know, a few more Warmaster procs in there, and that should be fine. And because I'm not sure Coleheart's gonna come back to her uh, Heartseeker, but again, I did not change 
See, we killed it over there, but I did not change the boat and it's still 20 tons. Let me just go and just quickly change the boat on that coal heart and put that uh, speed boot back up so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Let me see, perception, which one was it? I think it was this one. Yep, 247, okay, and let's go again. So again, the whole principle is you kill the spiderlings twice, and that's what does a lot of damage for the main uh, spider. Having Lydia's weakened land also helps a ton because if the main spider has weakened, she takes more damage. You saw the damage the color did there, but when the spiderlings die, the main spider takes more damage if she has weakened. Also, you saw that my painkeeper got a turn before the spider got a turn, so there were two spiderlings out there. I want that to happen on purpose so that the uh, spider queen does her consume now and not sh and she doesn't do it at this point, okay? Because if she does it now, because she is going to get the turn, it's it's not going to be a problem. Like, you don't always kill them, but look at this, even 14 turns, so it just works as a charm. So again, the way that I have it is I have Lydia go with the decreased defense first, okay? This is basically what's gonna happen in the presets. Okay, no weaken this time. Then I have Mithrala go with the, uh, what's it called, with the Hex. Ruel comes with the Z2 that does massive damage, kills all the spiderlings. Painkeeper resets, spider eats the two spiderlings that have spawned. It's fine, it shouldn't be a problem. Now she gets a turn, she does the cleanse so she so Painkeeper can get the turn. Lydia does the A3. Kolhar should do the A2 now. Ruel does his, uh, Hex that also boosts his third meter in front. Now, uh, decrease defense weaken again. Hit from Mithrala, which again, it seems like he killed it. Now we're gonna have the A2 from Ruel to do some more damage. Spider gets a turn. Now we should have a A1 or A2 from uh, Coalheart, and then we should be coming back to Coalheart's Heartseeker. Even with the 3% with the resist on the weaken, we should still be fine. And voila, there we go. So this team is actually still. 100% and it still works like this. Let me just show you the presets that I have on this team. So I have Ruel open with the A2, then prioritize the A3. So he does that hex and also he boosts his turn meter. So he gets to get, uh, you know, a turn. So he can do the A2 in case we don't kill the spiderlings like we did with Mithrala. Then Lydia open with the A2 and obviously this is going to be priority. Mithrala open with the A2 as well. And then I guess you could make it even priority the A3 in case some master is proc and she decreases the cooldown. So you can cleanse the the sleep off of painkeeper and then painkeeper can get a turn and do a little bit of war master because those war master procs help then cold heart open the heart seeker priority and then painkeeper just open with the a3 let's run it again to see how it works i also have ruel in the lead because he gives 20 percent crit rate in all battles to everyone including himself which allowed me to build him fast enough and still give him that 100 percent crit rate but you know even the brimstone having it is not mandatory i have had where the brimstone did not land this is a little bit unfortunate where we did not kill that spiderling but it should still be fine because well brimstone came in clutch Honestly, from all the runs that I have done with these people and these builds, it has not failed once, okay? It has not failed once. Even if it fails, it's I think it's a pretty low chance. You know, it's a pretty slim chance that this one actually fails because you have enough damage. You have the timings right so that, you know, the spiderlings uh, and the spider queen get the turn exactly when she has to. You see, she does not have the consume now, so she did not eat that one. We do an A1, then we get some more turns. And honestly, the reason why this one works so well is because of Ruel's passive that pushes back the turn meter and obviously because of the increased speed from uh, Lydia that allows Kolhart to get another turn, you know? So that's that's the team. Now let's have a quick look at the builds. So I have my Lady actually in a bolster with perception. Let me move myself a bit. She's running War Master and then Support Masteries. These are her speeds. You obviously want to have over 350 accuracy, so you land your debuffs. And good speed, she's, she's the first one. If she's first or Mithrala's first, it doesn't really matter. It should work the same way. But you definitely want to have these two to be the first ones that go. Then after that, let me just give myself the Mithrala out. Mithrala actually having a uh, Guardian set that I'm using for Hydra with some crit rate. Again, good accuracy, fast, and then, well, nothing else really matters here. She's gonna be tanky enough. Then I have the painkeeper that isn't a shield set actually, so we because we're gonna take we're we are taking some heads as you notice from the main spider. So I just have painkeeper at 221. Basically, you want to have painkeeper go before the spider goes. So if you're doing some testing and you see that the spider queen goes before your painkeeper goes, just give painkeeper a little bit more speed so that she has a turn. She's the painkeeper that I have from you know from the previous clan boss builds with war master in there, extra damage. 
Then I have the fast cold heart that I was talking about that goes after the two, uh, after Lydia and Mithrala. Make sure she goes after because you want to do the maximum damage that you can with this heart seeker. And then it's basically, you know, do, do, doing the heart seeker first before pain keeper comes back and does that reset. Uh, like I have, uh, I have flawless execution, but obviously it would be better if you had something like hand smasher because more damage, so you have a higher chance to kill the spider queen faster. The other cold hearts are just spells like I showed you previously, and then Ruel I have in a lethal plus perception. He's at 246 speed, so he's guaranteed to go before the main spider. But because of his passive, like I mentioned, that decreases the speed of enemies under hex by five percent. I could get him even lower. I think I could get him maybe like 240, 235, but that means I might have to push Painkeeper speed a little bit higher because of the way that the ticks work. And honestly, I just love Ruel and I love this hit, even though, you know, <clears throat> you don't see as much damage on the first hit, he can just one shot the Spiderlings as long as there's Hex out there and decrease defense, he's just a beast. And then he does the save three and he does all the job. Like you can see, he's 211 crit damage. It's not like he has, oh my God, 300 crit damage. So yeah, I do have him with War Master as well. So <clears throat> I guess this is gonna be it for the video today. I just wanted to show you the two teams that you have available. And honestly, this one should be a pretty easy one for everybody to do in pretty, you know, in very few turns because, well, the Dark Hills is arguably the best uh, faction out there to do the spider on normal and on hard as I showed you. But yeah, thank you all for watching. If you do enjoy my content, as always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel to see when I upload next, and I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace, love, take care, everyone. Bye, guys.